come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. Coming your way every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not, in our quest to watch every movie that's ever been made. <laughs> oh, Hell I'm yes. not committing to that. There's a lot of stuff I don't ever want to watch. We're going to watch every bad movie that's ever been made. Mm. That's probably true. Okay. That's, that more, we that's probably more likely. Do, yes. And uh, it's something you could actually accomplish. There right. you go. Uh, anyway. But they continue to make them, Colin. There's so many bad movies. If you want to keep on hearing us watch bad movies for your listening enjoyment, all you mm-hmm. got to do is go and over to wherever you found us and hit that like or subscribe button or smash that bell. And you smash that bell. <laughs> poor bell. Uh, these are the Internet Radio Superstars. Sean. Michaela. I'm Colin. <laughs> Sean, punch that bell, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> and tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by Michaela. What do we watch tonight? We went camping tonight. We went on a, what on we a fall camping trip. Yes. Uh, we watched Berserker. Ooh, from the year. 1987. Mm. Directed by... Uh, Jefferson Richard. J- or Jeff, Jeff Richard, Richard, one F. Defi- with the defi- <laughs> yeah, yeah. Make that, yeah. that was where it was like, oh yeah. no. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff uh, with one F. Sean, you'll like this guy. Because oh. um, he's mostly known for being a producer, if you can believe it, not a director. I know it's hard to believe that someone who's not a great director might have directed this movie. Mm. But... <laughs> He's an you executive producer on I'll Always Know What You Did Last Summer. <gasps> oh, wow. Jesus. He was an executive producer on Urban Legends, Bloody Mary. Oh, <laughs> why the bad ones? The he, absolute horrible shit. He was a line producer on Maniac Cop. That's fine. Oh, okay. he, was, he was a line producer for a long time before he got bumped up to executive producer. Okay. He was also a line producer on The Witch Who Came From the Sea. Oh, that makes more sense. Uh, yes. Yeah, so we're building a Saturday Night Freak <laughs> Show extended universe here. Yep. This is an ultimate hallway of people. In I'm this so movie. glad we roped in Bloody Mary 3 and I'll always know what you oh, did, did last summer. summer. And Which Who Came From the Sea. Oh That's quite God. a I the know, variety. Yeah. Oh, you're connecting dots right uh, yeah. there. Wow. I'm going to yeah. give you three movies. You name the connection. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, hey, okay, yeah. we would kill at that game if that was an actual if that was an actual game show like we're gonna give you three random movies you have to find the common denominator guys we would crush that i think so that's the one i want like they used to have just rock and roll jeopardy yeah it's like oh let's just do movie jeopardy that's what we're doing here right we're building our our base of knowledge so we can crush these trivia i want to monetize so we can answer the questions (laughs) that nobody's asking yes yeah yeah. but we don't we we will always be ready with the answers but no one will ever ask us always at the ready (laughs) yes all right so this movie never came out in theaters no oh no Okay. I don't think so. Direct I mean, there's, there's, if you can believe it, not a ton of information about this movie out there. I'm shocked. I, not, I, how not, did you find this movie? It's not five commentaries on the on the well, whatever Blu-ray. The Blu-ray's out of print. Out? Uh, there's the, we had oh, to watch man. this on YouTube because there, it's literally not anywhere. Damn, I knew I should have grabbed it. When yeah. I but the, the YouTube version is apparently ripped from the yeah. uh, blue out of print. The vinegar Blu-ray. syndrome Blu-ray. Yep. Yep. And. uh I well, I have a running list. You know, we all have our lists of things. And I was scrolling the list, and I was like, I think that's that Viking slasher movie. And I was like, Yeah, sure, why not? I didn't hear yeah. about it. Yeah, was that that one I, night we were somebody said something. It might have. Yeah, I think a listener did write in and tell us about this. I don't remember who, but I remember hearing it brought up before. Actually, it might have been on the Witch Who Came from the Sea episode because George Buck Flower was in that movie, and somebody said it was Pappy Ny- Nyquist. Yeah. And I'm like, what the hell? And it turns out he's in. This movie, George right. Buck Flower, who you would mm-hmm. know from movies like Uh They Live. Are you watching probably. a movie right now? Yeah. He's in it. And Back to the Future. Guaranteed. Uh was he in he wasn't in the blob, but he was in he's he's been in so many Escape movies we watched. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We just saw him a couple weeks he's ago. He's like a lot of uh, if you're listening to us, you know who George yeah. Buck yeah, yeah, Flower is. Yeah. But I guess that was the the other connection to The Witch Who Came from the Sea, a movie that we previously did an episode on. John his co star in that movie. John Goff Mm -hmm. is also in this movie. Yes. And John Goff has also a John Carpenter connection because he was, I think, the ship's captain in The Fog. All right. Nice. He was the dad in uh, The Witch Came from the Sea, Mm -hmm. and he was the well-dressed man in They Live. You won trivia, Colin. You connected all three of the movies. (laughs) A little bit more about this movie. Uh, Most of the people in this movie, if you click on their like IMDb credits, they are either like a line producer for a ton of movies, Mm -hmm. or they've done one movie, and that is Berserker. (laughs) And uh, the so Jeff Richardson wrote this movie with two other people that are credited: Joseph Kaufman, and this is his only credit on IMDb at all. 
That's it. Writing Berserker. Berserker. That's it. Family friend. Yep. And yep. Um, that's because he said something. They're just like, fuck, we can't not have yep. that in the movie. Yep. <laughs> you get a writing credit. And uh, someone named Henning Schellerup, who was a camera operator for a lot of movies, but for most notably Death Race 2000. Oh, oh. holy cow. So this movie is, well, is, is the, the this is the Avengers. <laughs> yeah. This is everything that people run through this movie. Yes. And we didn't, we're bearing the lead here. Joseph Allen Johnson, who was in Iced, a slasher movie I brought a couple years ago. And he wrote it, too. And wrote it, yeah. is starring in this movie. He's our lead. Yes. Oh, and he was also in Slumber Party Massacre, so that's three for the hallway for Joseph Allen Johnson. Did we do Slumber Party Massacre? I thought it was done. Or Sorority House Massacre I came 2. Out. We did Sorority House Massacre 2. We didn't do the first Slumber Party Massacre ever? Not I thought yet, did. But no. did, did, All right. Oh. Stay well. tuned. Yeah, no, point. we haven't. But George Buck Flowers got to be on the wall. Oh, like for, 10 times yeah, 10 over times. at this point. I know yeah. that means He's John done, yeah. Goff is on the wall now. Yeah, so welcome yeah. aboard, sir. We got to get mm-hmm. a certificate in the mail. Too. <laughs> Only because we almost did three of your movies in the <laughs> yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. Basically. Right. <laughs> Uh wow. Okay, <laughs> Berserker. So this is a uh homemade film. <laughs> this is a student f- I it, oh, it's what I would call a student film because it looks like it was made by kids in their backyard. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh yep. Utah, somewhere in uh, sunny mm-hmm. Utah is where they filmed this mm-hmm. uh using cast and crew that was uh the family. Friends and family. The way we would make a movie right. if we were going to make one right now. Yeah. The way so we have all you need movies. is a killer concept in order to make your movie cuz apparently I mean Barely yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So going into this movie I didn't realize that it was going to be a nature film. I thought it was going to be a horror movie. <laughs> I was kind of misled. This you is a know, hiking movie. I was going to say you didn't know it was going to be about the politics of campgrounds and, and uh, yeah, hiking. when we're talking about books on the e- and the economy yeah. of uh, of little areas in Utah, like mm-hmm. yeah, and, and apparently and, and we the should, background with Vikings and shit. We should start this uh, by talking about uh, the 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 side effects of litter, littering, littering. Oh, that's bad for I, the nature. I thought that was going to come back. I know. There's a lot of things that just kind of are, are <laughs> I just float off. Just, yeah. I thought that one of those kids was going to litter in front of the sheriff and then he was going to turn into the berserker because of his rage about the litter. Yeah. And kill them. I mean, that is the update of the crying Indian. Yeah, that's I was like it's, that would be a fun satire. Litters of that, and then right? somebody hawks out and beats the shit out of him. Yes. I thought that's why they had included it because yeah. of that campaign cuz at the yeah. beginning of this movie, well, okay, yeah, right, well <laughs> Well, yeah, there, well, there's a littering subplot that goes nowhere yeah. that a good screenwriter would figure out a way to somehow work. You could just into. say they tossed it aside. Yeah. No, a good screenwriter wouldn't have put the littering subplot into this movie. Yeah. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. But littering. there's a cold open. Yeah. Sort of. Explain the this 10th to me. century. We the 10th century. We see a what I think is supposed to be a Viking ship. It looks like a styrofoam kind of cut out and spray paint ship model. Yes, shot um, very uh, a crazy chicken. Yeah, ship. it looks like a uh, yeah. fucking yep. crazy rooster. It, Do we see the the, the whole ship or we just no, the, just the, the front end the of it? End. I so think it's, it's like only a front yeah, end. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. And then we see it come on the shore and we see the berserker, which is this like Viking cannibal warrior, stand on the edge of it and roar. And then that's that's our cold open. Yeah, and then it goes to like crazy credits, and then yep. we just see close ups of. So, uh, what is uh, defined for me a berserker? For those Berserker, folks yeah. at home, oh, and the subtitle for this movie, did we say? Uh, the, what was it? The Nordic Curse? The Nordic yeah. Berserker is a Nordic, Nordic Curse. curse. Um, if you've seen The Northman, Alexander Skarsgård and his whole group are kind of basically berserkers. Yep. Like, yeah. it's basically, it's cannibal warriors that would get all hyped up eating flesh, and there was mythology around them actually being able to turn into bears or wolves, like in the midst of war. So, yeah. So that's what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Uh, And we're like, okay, so this movie is going to be about a Viking warrior who gets frozen in time and is somehow dug up and unleashed in modern day Utah. I wish. Or or a Viking thrown through a blue portal who ends up. Yeah. Well, why did. In Utah. We're not even trying, and we've already done more work <laughs> yep. than this movie has. That's already like, better than what we're getting out of this movie. And that's, that's us, like, pulling things we've already seen before. That's not us even trying to come up with a new way of getting this yeah. berserker into the movie. You know? I saw, like, a black and white movie. I can't remember the title of it, where it was, like, a Spanish conquistador, a big guy. Mm-hmm. It was, like, frozen, and then they dug him up. And he went, you know, yeah. What a, he, that's such a and, great and, way to do that. And he started conquistadoring again? Yeah, yeah. he started killing people. Yeah. And, of course, it took the, you know, the scientist who was doing the archaeological dig and the pretty college student to team up. Course, to try it sounds and like a, a yeah, 50s. Yeah, that's a 50s. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Should have done that, right? I mean, that's like a classic. 
Yeah, we need to. Okay, I feel like movies nowadays, it's always just something came from space, right? It's always something crash landed here. I want us to go back to no, the horror is already here. We just haven't uncovered it yet. And it being things frozen or trapped in fossils or in the bottom of the ocean. Like, why are we always going to space? There's crazy (laughs) shit here, you know? Well, there is crazy shit here. Mm-hmm. There's a uh, 10,000 years ago. No, sorry, 10th century, 10th century. There's a berserker. We don't know where the fuck he is or what this is going on. No, nothing like about 10th him. Century, and there's a guy going raw, and he mm-hmm. has a bear's snout. Mm hmm. Uh, and like uh, tied paw to his face. mittens. Yep. Yeah, he's got like one, one. Mm-hmm. Bare hand with claws on him that mm-hmm. he can use to kill people. He's got a blonde wig. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. there are a couple shots of like uh, that claw scraping somebody's back. Yes. Very gently. Like, yep. Yeah, very Like nice. a back rub. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, ah, here, get that spot right back there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, then we we'll forget all about people that. People with jelly. <laughs> yeah. That happens a lot so. with that hand, too. Then we forget all about that and move all of a sudden into the modern day. Why do we forget about it, Colin? Because he doesn't show up again for another 50 minutes. <laughs> I mean, maybe seventy minutes, even I would yeah, say. Yeah, because I again, Sean assured me before going into this podcast that he has theories. Because I am all ears. <laughs> I want to hear what exactly uh, uh, the, the connection between that opening and the, the, the thing that happened. Seven. Well, the movie is. Uh, uh, it's only like eighty-one minutes long. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. Like Unless you, you're watching it on YouTube, like we did. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you'll be here so for full ninety. Yeah, ten minutes. We don't have minutes. YouTube Premium, but um, I mean it. It. it uh, I'm going to say those ads added to this movie. <laughs> Literally. I, they, I mean, haha, I'm, wow. Yeah. What the hell's going I'm on fire. I'm not throwing my finger on that button today. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Um, uh, no, because it left us in, it, it, they broke it in moments that left us in such great suspense. Oh, yeah, it was yeah. amazing. For, For a movie that probably didn't YouTube. deserve it, but. It added tension where the movie did not have any. Right. Uh, so, by cutting away what to a benefit. Ad, and we're See? like, where is the skip button? Oh, it was a terrible experience. Uh, this is so- why TV cuts <laughs> of movies, man. Yeah. Um, okay, so who are our main Oof. troop of characters in this movie that we're introduced to in our opening scene? Yash Venter. <laughs> yes. See, why didn't they do that? Like, mm. they, why didn't they call him that? Like, I, like, make some connection to, like, Nordic backstory Something, of some like sort. Something, they've been coming but, up there for years. Yeah, and, yeah. I mean, his last name's Winter, for crying yes. out loud. Yeah. Like, Winter is coming. Right? <laughs> like, it's all right there for them, and they're still not doing it. But... Josh, who is uh, we we described as a soap opera villain, is what he looks like. Yeah, um, he's got the hair and the eyebrows. And yeah, the, the stare. I looked him up. Uh, he, he, this is his one. This and is only one and only. Greg, uh, Greg something. Yeah, so yeah. never made That's, it to soap yeah. opera dumb. He should have. He would have been I think great... he would have killed it. That yep. guy's got Emmy winning acting chops as far as <laughs> soaps go. Soaps go. Yeah. Daytime Emmy. <laughs> Very dramatic. Daytime, Daytime, Emmy. Daytime Emmy. Yeah. Well, it's one of those like uh, all American kids are getting in the pickup truck to go on the adventure into right. the wilderness. It reminds me of Pumpkinhead, like the yeah. start of Pumpkinhead, yeah. but much more low budget. And probably because there were ATVs involved. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah, Pumpkinhead had the motorbikes and ATVs. Yeah. Yeah. But this so, is the very basic like these kids. They're they're gonna go out. They're gonna go camping. They're gonna smoke dope. And they're gonna have sex. Yep. Yeah. And uh, so we got Josh and Mike. Mike and Larry. Larry. Mike is the guy from Iced. Larry is the quote unquote nerd. That's right. He the reads group. books. He yep. brings books with him. He's an and intellectual. He, yep. Yeah. Not made for camping. This no. man. No. <laughs> not at all. As you will see throughout the movie. Yep. yep. And then Shelly, who is uh, uh, Mike's girlfriend, the guy from Iced. Okay. And then. Well, she's the one who looks like uh, Lynn Hamilton. Yes. Yes. She's yes. got that 80s hair. Yeah. yeah. I looked her up. Mm-hmm. She apparently was in Scream 3. When, and oh, she was and, also in Red Eye. And Red Eye. Yeah. And so she knows what's other, Craven. She yeah. knows somebody who edits or something. Yeah. On the, so yeah. Was she in Scream 3? I think she, she was a caller. Yeah. She co- was, it was oh. someone who called into the call center. <laughs> Oh, okay. It just gotcha. says female yeah. caller, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so it's, so, so it's yeah. either the voice at the beginning talking to Cotton, or mm-hmm. it's the one voice that calls Sydney later on. Right. But okay. she was yeah. one of the only people in the in the cast of this that actually had like other credits yeah. to her name. But her yeah. character, in, I haven't seen Red Eye in a long time, but her character in Red Eye had a first and last name. So that's maybe a, a little more significant. Attendant. Yeah, okay. yeah. Um. Okay, so Shelly, and then I can't remember the other, Chrissy? Was Christy. Christy, Christy? And then I don't remember the other girl's name at all. Yep. No, nope. it's gone. Okay. Um, no. Holly's not here, so that person yep. will uh, be an So three couples, yep. basically. All heading out. Yep. Of course, they're uh, yucking it up because these teenagers, we're told they're teenagers because the amazing <laughs> 80s rock score 
<laughs> yes. Sings a song about teenagers. Full three minute song. It's yes. very, yeah, it's a couple full minute, three minutes. The minute music songs, might right? be the best thing about this movie. Maybe. It's Where is great. the soundtrack album from Mr. Chuck Floor? What was it? Frank Hoare. Frank Hoare. Yeah, it's Chuck Frank Hoare. Fantastic. It his is. Music. He, he's, he's doing his it. best. Yeah. Trying harder than anybody else in this movie. I think. Yeah. A lot of guitars. And, You're a teenager. I got my. What was the lyrics? Well, the second song, which we'll get to, all I know cool is, cool. is Cool Dude. Yeah. yeah. Cool dude. But <laughs> so they're all getting in this pickup truck to go up camping at this campground that Josh and his family always go up to. And then he cl- this is then he claims like I've been going up there for years. He said this a few times going up there. He's like, yeah, they love me up there. Right. This guy's a little full of himself, if you couldn't tell. They've got four people in the front seat of a truck, which woof, that's uncomfortable. Yep. yep. Uh, two of them sitting in the back. With an ATV strapped in front in, of in them. the bed of the pickup truck. In the bed of the pickup truck. Ready to be crushed. Yes. I, if they get into a situation where they have to slam on their brakes, they're getting crushed yep. by this ATV. Dead. Yep. Yeah. I like he pulled them over. I'm just like, is it because there's thirty two people in this truck? Yes. Like Yeah, John Goff is the sheriff who yes. pulls them over because they littered. It, well, because they're drinking they beer and smoking weed while they're driving right. too. And they he rode the yeah. out the window. Although he came up with the exact same excuse I would have. It's like I was cleaning up the car accident threw out the window. I'm sorry. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Same Wasn't thing mine. Done. But do you think every small town sheriff, how often how long do you think they stand there and look in their mirror and practice their glare? Like because it's a requirement to be a small town sheriff, right? Yeah. You just slowly walk up to people and... I mean, they got a lot them. of time on their hands because usually there's not much crime yeah. going on. So, yeah. Right. That's I what they do at the a, office. Yeah. In, in yeah. the office being their car. Yep. Yeah. And they have the mirror. Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. So they're just mm-hmm. practicing. Right. I can't, yeah. Yep. Can't yeah. Do, yeah. Mm-hmm. But they pull them over and we're like, oh, no, our heroes are going to go to jail right off the bat. Our heroes. You can calm <laughs> yourself down. <laughs> they don't go to jail. They get out of it scot-free. It's like, okay, well, just uh, be careful. You go and camping up there. Yeah, don't like, litter. Don't litter. Yeah, it's a big thing. And that's why I'm like, like, ooh, that's going to piss off the berserker. Right, because he's the spirit of the area. Littering should piss him off. Yes, it should. We do know that there should be a subplot. (laughs) Because I don't think, I mean, he says something like there's wild animals out there or whatever. But really, the stakes in the movie are set in a scene that we totally forgot to tell you about, which is the campers who are already there that we're introduced to. Harold. about them. Homer. Homer, Sorry, and Edna. 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 Edna who are this elderly couple who's been coming out here for 40 years. I have a feeling this is the last year. I had a feeling before they got murdered <laughs> that this was going to be the last year. Because they only told us like four times that they've been coming for 40 for years. 40 right. years. And they can't scene. remember what day it is. Yep. yep. Uh, they get lost very easily in the woods Nothing's as they changed. go for a walk. Mm-hmm. I still love you, Homer. Yep. You know, all that. And, yep. uh, Life's like, just me perfect. Yeah. Then, they, then they wander, like, they're leaving their campsite when we first see them, and they wander into the woods, and then mm-hmm. night falls, and then they're lost in the woods. Yeah, and this felt more like, like a suicide pact at a certain point. We're going to walk off and get eaten by a bear. Where were they going? This is what I'm saying. For yeah. a romantic walk in the woods, yeah, I guess. Walk in the woods. I guess. Maybe they were going to go to the same fuck spot that the other people right? used Right? <laughs> just yeah. an energy in that spot? <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine if Mike later on got the sex flashback, but it was them? <laughs> like, I, I feel Someone weird, else fucked here. The cabin is that way. Yeah. Don't ask me how I know. I can tell by the fucking... <laughs> This or, may like, sound- or no, it'd be like in um in Lord of the Rings, the two towers when Aragorn's looking at like the grass and it with Legolas about mm. where the hobbits were. He's like, they crawled this way mm. and then they rolled here and they were picked up. And he can tell that by the way the grass is smushed down. <laughs> uh, like Mike gets down and looks at the grass. Somebody He's was like, on their knees here. Yep. And they all went down, <laughs> down over here. here. Yep. <laughs> They're tracking scene? me. Oh. Yeah. Well, something happens to these poor old uh, folks, but I don't remember what it was because I'm not entirely sure that we, we saw it. We didn't see it. We saw no, Aftermath. We Homer got attacked. Homer got officially well, see? mauled. About the same thing. We got, saw one of the things uh, down his back, and then he turned around and got it across the oh, face. I don't remember so that. this is the uh, studio hand with the yes, big is, giant bear claw yes. glove. This is a bear yeah. claw hand. Big Going, plushy bear hand, yeah. Yep. Yes, very, yeah. Everybody screams. Oh, that's right, because Edna t- takes a fucking shot of blood. Oh, yeah, blood. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right to the eye. Right to the <laughs> eye. <laughs> yeah, just. And, like, the way she reacted looked like <laughs> she was not, the actor was not expecting to yeah, get hit yeah. that hard in the right, eye. Right, now this is just going to mist over you. <laughs> it reminded me of have you guys seen that clip of i think it's katie perry at the kids choice awards like you know how they like slime everybody yeah. at the kids like it was a thing where she like was she, supposed to open a box oh, and it shot blasted. into her face it went like 
right into her mouth and back of her throat, and she's like choking <laughs> on stage. Like you can tell she's like about to throw it. Yeah, it looks it, violent. It came it's out a little bad. faster than yeah. anybody was anticipating. And her mouth was wide open, oh. so it just shot right into the back of her throat. And who it, knows what's oh. that? Ma- what that is made of? Yeah, like watching it like makes me my throat hurt. It just Ugh. oof. Look yeah. that clip up if you haven't seen it. It's violent. She's throwing up slime for yeah. a week. I'm or sure, went up her nose too and everything. Oof. I got slimed once. Mm-hmm. How was uh, it? And uh, Nickelodeon. What? Really? Yeah. How? What? T- you gotta tell. You can't just say <laughs> that and oh, not tell the story. To, well, they did tours of the uh, of the back lot, the studios there, and everything. Do you guys yeah. remember the big uh, the slime geyser they used to have in front of Nickelodeon? I mean, studios I've literally that- never been there. No, they showed it on TV oh, all yeah, the time. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, like, okay. yeah, that big slime yeah. guys and everything. Well, they have tours and everything, and they have like live shows, like when they do uh, um, anything with Steve Summers and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, yeah. So they have like a smaller version of that in one of the studios, and they're like, "We need volunteers." I was like, "Oh," and I got slime. Oh man! And up I, on was, stage, and everything. Oh yeah, up on stage for everybody. Think there's an episode. <laughs> Um, no, I don't, oh. it wasn't, te- this is not one of the televised ones. Oh, okay. No, but I got a certificate and everything it was great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that certifies you were slimed yes, by gen- <laughs> genuine Nickelodeon slime? It does. It's got the Nickelodeon thing on there and everything. Yeah, it's still got it important. somewhere. Right. Yep. Right. Oh, yeah. Right. Do you think they have a proprietary Certified slime I mix? Oh, probably. I like they, oh, yeah. they have a oh, yeah. patent on that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like the 12 herbs, 12 herbs and spices. Only four people in the world know how to make Nickelodeon ooze or slime yeah and they can't all be in the same place at once ever right. it's no, a, otherwise yeah. can't the, take the same yeah, yeah. When can't they take have them all the out. meeting Probably. of nickelodeon congress not all of them <laughs> they have a designated once. slime survivor yes <laughs> is exactly. it like mostly glue that stuff because i saw oh. elmer's make slime now and it's now we are doing anything elmer's we can't not talk about goo this. yeah g-u-e they take the l out uh, it's elmer's goo yeah well, something about that yeah so they just take out the stickiness yeah i think so Whatever the, makes the horse that. Hooves. Anyway, <laughs> back to the Viking bear movie. Where you're saying there's a Viking bear? I I, I do not. I have that. seen this movie. <laughs> okay, so our our intrepid explorers, heroes, teenage heartthrobs, march off to the uh, campground where they meet Pappy Nyquist. Pappy Nyquist, George Buckflower, mm-hmm. who's just out in the woods, mm-hmm. yeah, as you do. Because he's the old man with, and so he's Swedish, George Buckflower with a Swedish a- accent, which basically, yeah, means he's going, uh, you know, Yaku, V's and W's, yeah. Yep. Know, what, how do you say? Josh 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 Winter. Winter. Josh Winter. Um, and he is supposed to like warn the kids or something. I mean, I guess he does. He's like basically, well, not really. No, he's no. like, uh, you want to go to the the whatever the Miller camp? Or he's, something. he's there to fuck Sergeant, with them. He, he wants to go to the sergeant camp. Yeah, Yash wants to go to the sergeant yeah. camp because that's the one he's been at going to for years with his family. He gets and very upset. Yeah, it's he's not free. He throws a few hissy fits in this movie. It's. That's why he should be a villain. He does it very well. Yeah. Like, I dislike him for the way he acts in these parts. He's always like just on the edge of freaking out, and that's what makes him like a good soap opera villain, right? Yeah. But he he always thinks he's like cooler than he is. Like, yeah, they know me here, mm-hmm. fine, and they always gets let down from that, which is pretty fun. Well, they uh, yeah. So what? So he takes them his hubris, right? He's like, well, I'm going to the fucking place where my me yes. and my dad used to go, even though I've been told not to go there. And so he takes them to the wrong campsite we're like oh man this is somehow going to come back into the plot later and i guess it does and then it becomes like a lot of the dialogue in the later half of the movie is like you took us to the wrong campsite and i don't know where we are and you know all this other stuff uh yeah homer and edna are are at the same campsite but they have been murdered so they are not there when the rest of the people show up but yash hides their tent he knows of he's a real he's a real real piece of shit Yeah. yeah Just like, what, what are these people going to think when they came back? If they came back. Right. He's just like, I hope they're dead. Yeah. And we're saying campsite, but they have a shack that they rented for 25 bucks. Yeah. It is a one room. T- it is like a shed you store your lawnmower in size. Yeah. Yeah. It is you know, a yeah. shack. You know the shed that they're looking for and without warning? It's basically that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <sighs> Where's the shed? That's true. <laughs> Yeah, because this one would blow up just as easily as that one did. Yeah, yeah that's for sure. I think this is where we get uh, cool dude the sound. Oh yeah, oh, this, this is my a, favorite scene a, in the a whole fun movie. Fun montage of everybody splashing around in the river. Eighties coolness. Oh, yeah. it is. It really is. It is a montage of eighties coolness. Like you said, splashing in the river, uh, joking around, being bros, pouring beer on each other. Uh, you riding. know, you know how you get shirtless with your girlfriends, right? And then you shake up beers and spray them on each other, and then wrestle in the dirt, like, <laughs> right? <that's- laughs> each other's shoulders. Yeah. When it goes too far. Yeah. And wrestle in the hay. Yeah. That's what happens yeah. in the eighties. Yeah. And that's what happened. How else will 
people you know they're cool dudes right yeah, yeah, yeah. you know but yeah the song is literally you're a cool dude is the is the chorus oh yeah it was awesome uh, it was yeah but the lyrics if you pay attention it, it said something about like you got your phd you got your bs in science and i was like what <laughs> <laughs> what is this talking about but it was a great song yeah and I was marveling at the amazing uh, stunt riding uh, prowess of yeah. uh, Josh on the ATV without yes. his feet on the pedals. He, it's like that kid you knew that would ride his bike by like standing on the seat. Yep. He's basically doing that on an ATV. Yep. Yeah. And then we get the meanest act of this movie where they're all frolicking in the river. And then oh, what's her yes, name? You guys were personally offended by this. Coming scene. in and she's like, why not? And then she like goes to remove her close her, up on her, it. Yeah, too. her top. And then she's like, Nah. <laughs> yeah. Ties like, it back what the up. Denied. Like, what? I thought it was a sex and violence movie. No, uh, we haven't had any violence. No, no sex. Because they cut it all out. I'm guessing yeah. by what we see later. Yeah. It does kind of feel that way. Mm-hmm. Damn it. Um. So, what was the other movie that we watched where we were convinced that they like cut the sex without warning? Out? Was it without warning? Yeah. Okay. yeah. These are the same movie. <laughs> um. You just have the alien walk onto this set. Yep. So I mean, you got a a little bit of that like classic uh, conflict that rears its head in american horror movies the idea of the city folk have come mm-hmm. out into oh, yeah. the country and you know they just don't understand their ways and they're going to do something and offend you know Too wild. Kind of spirit mm-hmm. from the uh, right like pumpkin pumpkin head. Head. yeah yeah they're gonna knock something over <laughs> yeah. yeah in nature you know yep. what i mean it's just like oh. but none of that actually happens in this movie nope mm-hmm. instead they just kind of go out there and they frolic and then night sets and we're introduced to uh oh, so it turns out that uh Happy Nyquist and the Sheriff uh, Bill, Sheriff Will, Sheriff whatever his name is. Yep, Sheriff. Uh, sure. They're like must be brothers. I think there's brothers, a little yeah. bit of uh, family drama as they're talking about, you know, like when Grandpappy died like, you know, 20 years ago or whatever. And I don't <laughs> even know what that conversation or anything. They play chess. They play chess. Most of that was uh, uh, made up. That was improvised. It feels like yeah. it to pad the running time. Mm. Uh, actors just, you know, like, what are we and doing yet in this it movie? Felt, vamping. Yeah, it felt more natural than a lot of the scripted dialogue yeah. in this movie. So. No, they're, they're like good old pros. Yeah, yeah. Like, I what, would expect uh, this from them. Yeah, we got to just pad this. You can do whatever you want. No one's going to see this movie. It doesn't matter. You can just, uh, you know. <laughs> so uh, there is a book. Okay, oh. the book is oh, yeah, the book. important. This is the On book. The, the economy by, of the Vikings. Yes, because they're going to Rainbow Ridge or whatever the hell the name of the campground is. Uh, um, Valley. Valley, yeah, Rainbow uh, Valley. Which was apparently settled. This is what we're going to get now. Well, now we're going to get the exposition that's going to set up the fucking movie from this book. <laughs> it was settled by Vikings. Mm. Or by, sorry, the, the, the Norwegians. The, the Norwegians, yeah. And so it's kind of like Vikings. Yeah, and then, descendant of the Vikings, they say, and... And around the campfire, Larry? Yep. Bookworm Larry tells them a spooky story from this book. What is it? It is the story of the Berserker. Which is? It's like for the Vikings, when they were going to attack, these were the creatures that they sent out first to... He basically summarizes the, the Northmen as a movie. Basically. Because yeah. he like even talks the about the psychedelic of... drugs they would take to get like hyped yeah. up for the uh, fight. Yeah. Yes, they were like, hyped the up Northmen. super, super amped like yeah. warriors. Okay. So I, I get that. I get mm-hmm. what a berserker is. Okay. okay. But then he adds on to that by continuing to read. I think he at some point turns a page and reads <laughs> the second, which is where, you know, history people have usually stopped. They should have flipped the page and read the next side because <laughs> on the next page, it turns out that. The berserker, you know, got so crazy. They went, they went nuts. They went mad. They, it was like, you know, nothing could control them. And their spirits lived on even after their oh, death. Oh, yeah. They can't oh, yeah, go yeah, to yeah. hell. They, they're, they're like doomed into like purgatory, basically, because yep. they can't like yeah. the sins they committed in their living life. They and can't. so that yeah. means. Yeah. They will possess a relative of the Viking lineage at a certain point. That's right. Yep. Somewhere in the bloodline, right? Yes. They're going to mm-hmm. take possession of a person and keep on berserking. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right? Yep. Yep. Cool if we saw this happen. Yeah. At any Yeah. Well, I mean, this is time. explained to us, so we're like, okay, that's what this movie's about, right? There's going to be somebody mm-hmm. now, because I mean, now we don't have to knock over the ancient stone and let something <laughs> out or, or right. dig somebody up. Now it's just like, oh. Now okay, we just wait for the berserker. Howard and Edna were killed by the berserker. Who's somebody who's possessed wandering around in the woods, killing people. So now we're in mm-hmm. slasher movie territory. Yep. yep. So now the slashings are going to start because night has fallen and all these crazy kids are all frisky and the, they just want to get with it. And Josh is trying to either put <laughs> them in the mood by it? blasting 
the heavy metal out of the the the, the he really is the most player. annoying dude. <laughs> he, oh my god, like, this he does guy, not care yeah. about anybody else's like anybody else around him as long as he's happy i don't believe he's smoking weed because no. he would be much more chill if he was that's actually the, that's smoking the first weed. thing i was thinking i'm like yeah. he wouldn't be this aggro if he was actually smoking weed yeah. like he'd be like oh sorry man it's all right yeah i'll turn down and then he would lay under a blanket pull a blanket over his head and listen to music stone and probably fall asleep like because he just kind of he watches everybody else like getting frisky and then he's like he's like mad about it because his girlfriend yeah, yeah. wanted to go take a leak yep in the woods yep. where do you go because i mean they're at a campground where mm. as you pointed out there's no working uh no you know, facilities no so she wanders out into the woods and when i say wanders out into the woods i'm saying she wanders like a half mile <laughs> she, yeah. she went for a mile jog <laughs> decided to pee and then got lost on her walk on the way back well it's very foggy very foggy but they're doing that classic movie horror movie thing of when they walk through the woods both hands are out in front of them pushing the branches back yeah. constantly oh, so much like foliage. they're swimming through it yeah, yeah they can't uh, see yeah. anything it's very dark it's dark to them we can see them but it's yep. so dark they can't fun see fact it. the fog was vanilla scented mm-hmm. it probably smelled like a cookie factory yeah, <laughs> which yeah. after a while you just gotta be like fuck it makes you vanilla. nauseous it's yeah. Gonna, yeah it's gonna make you fuck they sick. probably smelled like it for weeks I bet you know uh, you yeah. can't watch that stuff out no nope. so she gets killed I think but I'm not sure because we find her yes. body later, and it's like, okay, so she's dead. And I don't know. But doesn't she her. find? No, that was a different girl. Never mind. Never <laughs> mind. No, well, there's no. a there's a search party sent because it's like, man, she's been out there for a while. So Josh isn't going out. He sends Larry and his girlfriend. Right. They right. go out and they go out. Oh no, no, they did actually encounter her because I think they were wearing a big giant bear rug. Right. For no fucking good reason and went yep. oh sorry we were out here looking for you right they were out in the woods looking for her while they were walking together <laughs> under a blanket covering both of their heads yep as you do yeah it's uh, totally normal thing to what be doesn't doing. like being spooky when you're out walking well, maybe yeah. they didn't want to you know they were like too much fucking vanilla we gotta just you know maybe kinda, yeah, yeah. That point. Or they were huffing their own I don't right know. so they they meet up and then i think there's an attack by something yeah. And then we're introduced to Bart the Bear. Bart the Bear. Mm-hmm. Bart. He's a movie oh, star. Bart. I know. Famous. Apparently. Yeah. That movie, know. Oscar winning. He the was bear. in Legends the of the bear. Fall. He was in The Edge. He's been in was a he lot. In the, was that him yeah. in The Edge? Mm-hmm. Was Bart. Oh, damn. Yeah. Bart. Yeah, he's a like famous movie acting Shit. bear. Yeah. All right. Add him to the, the documentary. This is the shittiest movie that Bart has ever... It I, is. He's, he's above this. Even Bart's going to slum sometimes, right? Yeah. They brought Bart onto the Oscar stage. I want to say it was like Jack Palancey presenting or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. I didn't know that was Bart. Wow. Bart's a true movie. star. Yeah, so he's the biggest star. name in this movie. I he suppose. really is. I'm down yeah. with Bart. I, like, I agree, though. He is slumming it. In his yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, it seems like an easy paycheck for Bart, because yeah. they're like, all right. We he have didn't this, have to do anything. We have this 10-foot no. long piece of grass. Yeah. We're going to stand back here with a camera. You just walk back and forth. Yeah. And yeah, we will we'll cut it together. And I can just imagine, because there's a lot of close-ups of him yelling. It almost looks like a little bear music video at a certain point. Right. right <laughs> yell into the camera. We got it. Yeah, because he does a lot of charging like into the camera that's like on the ground. Right. Yeah. And a lot of, like, yeah, it is a lot of Dutch angles of this bear. Right. And it's like, yeah. oh, he's yelling. Get yep. in there. Yep. But yeah, he, like, even in the third act, I feel like they didn't ask very much of him. Like, yeah, this had to have been, like an easy paycheck for him, right? Like, this is... Oh, no, that's a sad comparison. I won't say that. Oh, I was no. going to say it's like Bruce Willis doing all the direct-to-DVD movies, but, like, that's different context now. <laughs> but it, I guess it's like Nick Cage taking all those movies to pay off his debt, right? Like, yeah. he, the bear's like, yeah, I, I'm above this, but I'll take the money, and it's, yeah. an, it's an easy day's work for yeah. me. I just have to walk around a little bit, and that's it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and to be fair, like, I think the Oscar was still in his future. I think this is him paying uh, his dues. Right? Oh, so, okay. okay. So that's fine. Because yeah. that set off, yeah. you know, like Legends of the Fall Legends and all that the stuff. Fall, so yeah. Uh, I, I just oh. like to imagine the handlers like this bear was in a movie with Brad Pitt. Okay, you yeah. show him some respect, yeah, like yeah, you know. Yeah. Well, this that bear is in this movie a lot. It a turns lot. out where we're just yeah. watching footage of the bear wandering around. The bear is edited into the movie at various points that yep. are very confusing. Where characters may or may not be reacting to seeing a bear. Right. I don't think <laughs> the people in the movie know that there's a bear. But there's a bear. And so, of course, in my mind, I'm sitting here going, in the beginning of this movie, I saw a guy wearing a bear snout. Is that we were told that somebody takes possession of a person and turns them into a berserker. And so logically, I go like, well, I'm not seeing a berserker. I'm seeing a bear. Did he turn into a bear? 
what is this? Also confused yep. at this point. I'm yep. just like, ah, is the bear, what is happening here? Because they're not making it clear there's two separate things. No. They're like, the bear's doing it. I thought the bear was killing people. I, I thought, thought so, so too. too. That is what this movie going, is like, saying. I yes. thought I was set up to have a slasher movie, but now there's a bear out killing people in the woods. And this is Grizzly 2. Yeah. Well, there's a yeah. Grizzly 3. Yeah. No, I think that they, did, they could do, didn't differentiate that no. the bear is not killing people. Because the editing is so poor in yes. this movie on top of a bad script. Yes. Because the way it looked was like they had a bear, real bear, mm. turns out, Bart the bear, and then for close-ups with the maulings, you'd have you know, your <laughs> usual dude with wearing the bear arm yep. reaching into the frame and yep. slashing people, and you're like, okay, it's supposed to be the bear out, out killing people. Right. We literally got introduced to Bart like rant, we just show up on a bear, and then he stands up and walks over to a tree, like all yes. cute and everything. He's having the great like, time. Like he, he is having fun. Yeah, he's like woo. He's the opposite here. of menacing. Like this bear looks like he's frolicking and having fun. Yeah, it's I know. wonderful. There's, there's a fight scene later yeah. where it's very dramatic music, but I can only imagine the hand is just like, "Who's the best bear? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who's the good bear? Yeah, had to I be know. what was going on. Yep." I think that was the, the trainer, right? Yeah. Well, it was, yeah. Been, yeah. I, so uh, the way a better movie would handle this <laughs> would be that they're going camping, but someone doesn't want to do it because they've heard that bears have been killing people in this area. Right. And every time you see a kill, you just see like a bear snout or a bear paw. And then it turns out it's actually a berserker with the bear mask and the bear paws. But right. this movie does. I think that's what they're trying to do, but it. It's not clear because of the way it's yeah. edited. No, I'm like, written. why did you even have a bear? Why in is the, the bear movie? even in it? Yeah, yeah. Why is, yeah. Why is, yeah. Why is the bear here? Right. Mm. I thought you, Sean. I was relying on you to have answers to these questions. Uh, we're still going. <laughs> it's all right. the right. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Um. So Tom's gonna interrogate you. Jeez. I, well, he promised because he said he had theories. Uh. So they. Uh. So now one girl is dead. Maybe mm -hmm. we think attacked. Yes. And then. This becomes the thing where, like, okay, now we all have to head out into the woods to find our friends because mm -hmm. they're lost in the fog. And it becomes a lot of Larry, mm -hmm. Larry. Oh, Sally was the other one because I remember okay. the Texas Chainsaw thing was yep. in my uh, mind. Sally, yep. Sally, are you there, Sally? Oh, boy. Oh, oh Virginia. Geez. Virginia. They wander forever. Forever. This is a hiking movie. It now. is a hiking. It's and a hiking. only one direction, all four of them in a row, just hiking through the yeah, woods. They always are hiking left to right, screen left to screen right, yep, yep, all the time, without any kind of uh, uh, deviation from that at all. And yeah. all the like foliage and everything looks exactly the same, so it looks like they're walking in the same ten foot strip of woods. Yeah, yeah. Some nice close ups again. of their feet walking, heavily mm -hmm. fogged, There's heavily some, fogged. Some embarrassing shots of the fog from a distance where it did look like that scene in Apocalypse Now. Where right, they just yeah. like, oh, we the just yeah. started the fog. Yeah. <laughs> like, we couldn't wait for the fog to like get in there. Right. Like, yeah. So much fog, like it's almost comically overtaking some close up shots. Yeah, like of people talking and then just bank fog banks rolling mm -hmm. over people. Just like I can't see you anymore. <laughs> Trying to get dialogue across. And Try to remember I, what happens. Next. I know. I remember. It's a lot they, of walking. I remember they get lost, all of them. But I, it seems like there's more bear attacks. But I can't remember who got killed. If anybody got killed, because most Did of the cut kills away from happened them? off camera. Okay. I well, think at this point we cut away to a lot of random um, uh, George Buckflower. Um, Stop hanging out. Like he wakes up in a cold sweat at one point after one of the attacks. I which think. is like the classic werewolf shorthand for like oh god what yep. did I do last night right. you know yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like he's I think they show the bear then he wakes up mm -hmm. yeah um, so again they're playing into that yeah. where you think he's the, the bear is the one causing mm -hmm. everything and there's a lot of drama with uh, John Goff the sheriff because he's like I went out there to that campsite looking for them and they're not there and it's like well they're probably at the other campsite that I told them not to go to but I thought Homer and Edna, Edna were out there Homer and Edna's body show up at some point, but they're so yes. like covered in makeup that I actually didn't realize who we were looking at. Me neither. At. No, I I, if Edna it. didn't have a sh like a shock of white hair, then yeah. I wouldn't have known it was her. Mm -hmm. They trip over them. They break their legs. Well, okay. The one uh, girl, I can't remember her name, run is running and falls in that puddle where she oh, finds yeah. Edna. Oh, yeah. And she's, she's in a shallow puddle, like flopping around. I mean, she's acting her heart out. Yeah. I can't blame her. But if she is in a, all right, you're going to fall into this lake. And then you're going to scramble a, around it, and then like, get a puddle. It's a puddle. This is what they told, <laughs> no, this is what they told her. Yeah. And then she gets into a puddle. And, oh, 
Oh, yeah. Jing liked her. She can't stand up for some reason. Just treat it's like, it's, like it's quicksand. Deep. Well, that's the thing. It's backlit in a way that you can't really see what, like, the water looks black. So I was, I legitimately was like, is she in quicksand? Because uh-huh. like, if this movie's like going yeah. the quicksand route, okay, the points for that, because that's cool. But, yeah. like, it didn't. It, no. it was just pond water. And, like, it re- reminded us of Martin Mull again flopping around in the swamp as well. Nope. But I'm cutting clay. Yes. 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 <laughs> and, and she. Pull like reaches for something to pull herself out of this quicksand pond, and grabs an arm and pulls it down, uh, and it's Edna. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. Edna. And then does she get killed right there I by a bear? Remember. Yeah, I think so. I think, I think, so. She, I think she reached for it and get attacked. I by think a- so. Well, well, because the what, two girls die together. Remember, well, they both get. She finds the one girl, oh, yeah, and they that, both get she slashed. She eventually ends up finding her, right? Because yeah. she's she finds the first girl who went out for the to have a pee. Yeah. Yes. And then. But she's maybe mauled, maybe not dead. And then the other girl who looks like Linda Hamilton gets uh, like gently pawed. Right. Yeah. Death. This is she a, strokes yes. her, her face gets right. stroked to death by it, a nice soft paw. It yeah. is. It's a very slow, soft. Supposed to be a, like a swipe of a yeah. of a gnarly bear claw, and it's just a little. You got, we're gonna put this on your face. Yep. And there we go. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's not very so gentle. It. No, not at yep. all. It's it's gentle. The bear claw has just got long nails. It's yep. it's. It's not good. Mm-hmm. It's it's great in its hilarity, but it's not good. Mm-hmm. I don't even remember if there was any good drama to talk about amongst no, the characters. Or I mean, not, or not, more- just Josh turned the camera every now and again, going, "I have no idea where we are." <laughs> oh, wait, no, look at this. Larry, Mike, I have no idea where we are. Like, I like that he has to address them Mike, formally Larry, first. Yeah, we're fucked. Yeah. And then he's like, well, I don't know what we're going to do. And and they're like, well, you haven't let it, you haven't let us uh, or whatever. We've been yeah. following you this far. Let's continue to follow yeah, the idiot. He's like, yeah. Yeah. he's like, well, let's go this way. <laughs> they're just, like, they're this hoping the that movie. the clock is going to be right that second <laughs> yeah. time during the day yep. at some point. Yeah. Then, oh, then uh, Mike, this is because they run past another body, which scares Larry, mm-hmm. who then tries to run away and escape, but trips over a branch and breaks his leg. <laughs> <laughs> and it, what they say broken leg but it's like his shin scraped like when yeah. you scrape your shin yeah and you fall it's on like concrete. Not compound no, yeah. not even like maybe nope. his toe yeah. got hurt a little bit or something but yeah. like he is on death's door <laughs> yes. but for the rest it. of the movie yeah but it's like come on you gotta try and walk i can't i can't <laughs> i can't, I can't <laughs> do it yeah. ah, you gotta try and stand up yeah He's in so much pain so then there's like well we gotta leave him here <laughs> mm. yeah. and josh is gonna stay with him and the rest of us are right. gonna go and find help but how do they know where to go well they found a sign that said, you know, Miller's camp is this way, but mm-hmm. then Josh has to come clean and say, I'm sorry, my truck isn't here at there because I went to the other camp and we're like, oh man, the drama of that earlier setup is paying off spades. They're out in the middle of nowhere and don't know where they are. Uh, so and there's I'm a so bear. glad it came to light. Uh, yeah. yep. It just made me feel so much better. He just had to have that the sergeant campsite. house. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I think it. he had a nice touching uh, monologue. Even there's some monologuing about like, you know, last time he was out there, he was fishing with his dad. Now he's yeah. hate my dad, but then now I kind of, I miss him. I never yep. thought I'd miss yep. him. Yep. But very good. So they do all decide to go. Uh, Josh is going to stay with Larry and the other one's going to get help. How do they know where to go, huh? Michaela? Okay. Oh, what happens? Oh, 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 oh. what First happens? All, that Colin, we had to rewind because Colin yes. left the room during <laughs> yes. the best moment of the movie. We unquote. we told Colin, "No, go ahead. You're not gonna miss anything because because they've been hiking for 20 minutes. Yeah, straight nothing has been happening. So, well, Sean said, "I think if you rewind this movie 20 minutes, you'd be exactly in the spot where we're yes. at right now. Exactly, and you could. Yeah. So, Colin, like it." If I would, you need to find a way to monetize the worst time to walk out of a movie. <laughs> you really yeah, do. You do. You're yeah. very good at it. Because you're really good at it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And and at first, Sean, I'm like, oh, it's fine. But uh, <laughs> the guy from Ice, Mike, he's walking around the grass and he's looking at the grass. And he's like, wait a second. And then we get a flashback to a scene we never saw before. No. And there's like full frontal in this scene. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like full bush. Scene. Yeah. And we see him and his girlfriend having sex on the floor, like fully naked in the woods. And just for like a split second. Yeah. And he goes, Shelly and I made love here. <laughs> yeah. I know Shelly and I made love. Yeah. I know where we are. <laughs> and this guy is straight face for the like, entire movie. Like, Nothing really phases him. Like, no, he's terrible. I remember we said that during Ice. Like, yeah, he is a he's bad, bad actor. He's just yeah. bad. He's like, this is where Shelly and I made love. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> but he gets one line where he's like, which means I know where we are. Yeah, yes. <laughs> like, he got that line right. <laughs> Everything else is just bad. Well, but it's just yeah. like, what is, what is the sexual yeah. energy that is leading them to, like, uh, I mean, he has the Aragorn sense where he can look at the grass and be like, oh, 
this happened here, and right. then mm. she was she was People cowgirl on me. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Well, I yeah. think there was, maybe there might have been a sleeping bag. I think that was there how was he yes, out there was. was, but he still had a flashback. He had a flashback, but we didn't see him look at the sleeping bag. We saw him looking around and then having the flash. Well, there is a flashlight on the sleeping oh, bag. Oh, was so, there? Yeah, okay. so he does see it, but again, he still has a flash. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and but I, what makes it so odd is like you said, the, the fact that that scene does not exist in the movie no. beforehand yeah. to flashback to. There's like, no sex or like, nudity in this movie. What are you talking? Yeah. about i didn't know that you and shelly were even left the camp you know right. or, so anyway yep <laughs> yep gotta you move guys, on you guys were extra upset because you got deprived to the skinny dipping scene earlier and now they're teasing you with a sex scene <laughs> that they filmed but didn't use i know yeah. come on they're bizarre like, and yeah. you wonder if it was a body double maybe and they that was the only angle that they that could, angle was weird it was weird because yeah. it was like oh wow we're seeing a lot it was yeah <laughs> it was low and I don't know. Revealing. Like, yeah, revealing we'll is probably the best. Yeah. yeah, it was a weird angle. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sexual flashbacks. <laughs> Save their lives. That's uh, Maybe. It did. That's, well, kind of, because it gives them at least the idea of like, this is where we got to go. So the forthcoming book, Sexual Flashbacks. <laughs> this is uh, Larry and uh, the bookworm. Bookworm is Larry. So Larry, Larry, yeah, Larry the other, the... And John Jacob Rand Jingleheimer Smith. Yeah. The, Josh. The star from Josh. Jo- no, no. Josh oh. is back with. See Josh is, <laughs> yeah. See, He's, Mike is the guy from Ice. Okay, okay, there you yes. go. Mike and Larry head off. Wait, oh, no, no, Larry, no. no, sorry. Josh stays with Larry. Josh okay. and Larry are having the bro moment. Yeah, they're having the breakfast club has, scene yeah, where he's like, like I'm, I, because like he always picks on him for being a nerd and he's like, I just pick on you because I'm jealous because you're, you're just so smart. And I'm like, oh, they just, they just took this from the breakfast club uh, 100%. Yep, yeah, because character drama. I mean, what just is a bros movie? bros having without, a moment, dude. But yeah, without moments of... Just needed him to you say you're a genius because you can't make a lamp. That's all we need. <laughs> I don't know what that reference is. That's from is. The Breakfast Club. Is it? I yeah, Anthony and Michael Club Hall's and, yeah. all like, I tried to make this stupid lamp, and then you all pull right. the elephant lamp, you pull the trunk and turn on, and then Jordan Nelson's like, you're a genius because you can't make a fucking lamp. Like, <laughs> saying you're too smart for lamp making. Well, you got me because now Apparently I can't. Apparently I'm the only person who's seen The Breakfast <laughs> Club. Yeah, 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 it's a... This yeah. Criterion movie. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> the Breakfast mm-hmm. Club is a classic. It is a so great movie, classic. yeah. Um, I don't remember what happened next. That's why I guess I'm installing. I don't remember. We watch... Well, I mean, Yash gets... Attacked again because the sheriff disappears mm-hmm. from most from of the movie, movie, and we're like, he's probably morning. like berserking right. or something because there's uh, the 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 bears out there. Um, I mean, uh, they have their bro moment, and then Josh gets attacked. Yeah, because I remember that was where Mike had his uh, other delivery. Come on, let's go or whatever. Uh, right? What he say? Mm-hmm. He told them they had to. Like, it was the delivery of it. it was just like, <laughs> come on, you know. It's like it's a very touching moment. You're just telling her you got to go. Mm-hmm. Um, oh yeah, and then they have him and that's right, Larry that's and his girl have a moment where it's just, like, <laughs> I'll come back for you, baby. It's like I'll try to stay strong <laughs> and live through this broken leg. <laughs> and then is this? I think it's the fight scene. Because yeah, because then Larry's left alone, right? Well, because Josh gets attacked, and they oh, yeah, said yeah. they'll come back for him, which they tell everybody they'll come back for them, and they don't. Yeah. And Josh gets attacked. Yep. Right. And then Larry's. There and like, oh shit, I can't run. And there's a bear. And then, then the bear shows up, the, and then the, we're like, oh, the, berserker and okay, bear. But I think this is the show stopping moment oh. from the movie. It should be. Because, <laughs> like, uh, this was. I was pretty show stopped at I don't know where we are. Yeah. yeah. But that I mean, this was, the, this was the one that, like, it kind of did actually, like, rouse me a little bit from my, my days. It was. I was, I was, I was like, like huh? wait, what's happening? So, yeah, the, there's all of a sudden. Josh is attacked by a berserker. Yes. yes. And we're like... And it's the actual berserker. Because yes. he pops out of the woods. It's this guy who looks like Conan with yep. the, you know, the the, mouth, the, the bear snout roaring. Yeah. And then he attacks and he's slashing at Josh. And we're like, oh, no. And we're like, who is this guy? I, I don't understand what the fuck he's doing here. Right. Is this an actual the berserker? Is, and then... The bear shows up, and we're like, "Oh, there's there, there's a bear too. These are separate things. We're like, what's happening?" And then the berserker attacks the bear, runs and, right at him, and so it's this massive fight scene between the. Is he 
clubbing the bear. Well, he's not. They're just wrestling. They're, they're, they're wrestling. They're wrestling. wrestling. There's not even... It's one of those where like the bear wants to play, so the trainer's got to like grab his head and be like, "No, you're biting me." Ah. Yeah. But, but wait, no. why not? Why not use any little smear some fake blood around or something? There's no blood in this scene. Well, like no. I know they had the the other angle. Like there's angle number one is you're basically <laughs> seeing the bear like stomping all over this guy, yep. and then angle number two is the angle where you're looking over the bear's shoulder mm-hmm. at the guy the berserker and that's clearly a dude in a bear suit yeah yeah in a bear suit probably (laughs) probably just a head and paws it's It's waist up guaranteed but what sold this fucking scene and what made it goddamn classic is we cut back to larry oh my god (laughs) oh my god he's cheering cheering so hard go bear yeah go bear you Bear, go like, get, yeah, yeah, get him, yeah, get him. Get him. <laughs> Are you in Do pain it. or not, Woo. dude? Are you suffering from a broken <laughs> leg or not? Because you don't, He's, yeah. The gangrene is set in. He's delirious yeah. at this point. Yeah. But they must have set the camera on him for like two minutes and they're just like, all right, you're cheering on a bear berserker fight. Go. Yeah. <laughs> and he gave his best and yeah. it's the most awkward cheering. Yes. It's woo, awesome. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. That whole scene, best scene of the movie right there. It was just like, what the? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And then uh, the bear wins and the berserker runs off in the woods. Yeah. He does. Yeah. He does. yeah. It was kind of cool to see an actual bear <laughs> wrestle with a real person in True. a film because yeah. that's not something we see ever anymore. Yeah. No. Ever. Like, I no, mean, no. it's CG, no roar, CG but, animals, you know. Though. Yeah. Yeah. There it is again. It's probably for the best, but. Yeah, but it's more right. exciting. Yeah, yeah but it's, yeah, exactly. Right. It's not as exciting, but it probably is for the best for everyone involved, but. So, yeah. not a dramatic finish to the scene if mm. the guy just runs off into the woods. And no. then uh, Larry's like, oh shit, there's a bear. But the bear wanders off because yeah. he's a nice mm-hmm. bear. Yep. Hero bear. Bart yeah. the bear. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. And now Larry starts his Martin Mull esque trek home. Right. Yeah. He no, no, no. But, the, but that's because Mike has found the ATV. But he tells his yes. girlfriend that she can't come with him. <laughs> he calls oh my his, God, no, 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 no. He calls his girlfriend fat and then leaves her behind to die. Yes. This is what he happens. says, I'll go faster with less weight. <laughs> or with Holy like or without shit. all the weight. Yeah, and he's just like, oh go faster with uh without the extra weight. Yes, I think. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. the extra is what makes it sting really hard. <laughs> right. Because that makes it sound like, useless. You yeah. Stay here. Yeah. I'll go. <laughs> I think I'd break up with someone if they said that to me. You Holy should be shit. like, what the fuck? Which yeah. is probably a line that we put in, in yeah. a movie made yeah. nowadays. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, then she goes and barricades herself into the the tiny shack, and then he rides off with. The, okay, she barricades herself with a cot. She puts two a very cot. light PVC yeah. made. Yeah. yeah. And did you guys get a look at how did that door opened? It was a nail that you pulled on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would have been my first. Okay, I want to go home. Yeah. A, like, nail I have to for a nail. Open it with a nail. Yes. No. And two wide open windows. The bear's yeah. just going to walk into mm-hmm. your window. At one point, I thought you. somebody was attacking the, the, the cabin. Yeah, something was pounding on the door, yeah. but then. But there's no the, payoff, no they, setup. They can't no get through that cut. Yeah, cotton, there's nothing Colin. for that. They yeah, can't get through the cut. Yeah. No. Unless um, it was the. The uh, berserker, and he just went away when he couldn't get in. He's Maybe. not a great berserker, then. He's pretty you know, bad at his job. Like, again, he has it, it seems been tenuous. injured at this mm-hmm. point, though. He has By been the bear, in a bear right. fight, yeah. yes. That's what's going on. That's why, yeah, in the end. So, uh, uh, Mike does find the sheriff uh, sipping his coffee the next morning. He did that thing where he Checking looked at his, his hand. His yeah. hand, mm-hmm. and we're like, oh, oh that means yep. it. What does that mean? He could be possessed by the berserker. And then, uh, but he does. The sheriff picks up Mike and drives him back to the campsite at Full tilt. Meanwhile, Larry has been found somehow drawn courage together to stand up. <laughs> 27 hours later. Himself, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And hike his way back, broken foot and all. And we watch campsite. his whole hike. We it get to see the whole thing. The, the whole thing. We see the whole thing of everything. A lot of these <laughs> shots don't break. We I saw uh, uh, Buck Flower standing on, uh, at the foot of his trailer and I watched him walk all the way to his truck and then drive all the <laughs> yeah. way down the long road. In yeah. one shot, yep. like they're really padding them out here. And we're saying this movie is an hour and twenty-one minutes long. <laughs> yep. Okay, so uh, so everybody's coming together here at it the is, end. It, it is. Uh, it's a collision of characters. They all have to meet up again, and we all the energy of this movie. I think we all thought there was going to be a collision of characters. Mm-hmm. Like that is what I felt because right. the way Larry's journey being portrayed it felt like 
he was going to get to a point and then be murdered again. Mm-hmm. I was hoping. I was hoping. Like, he it falls felt like, down in the tall yes, grass. I guess that's the thing where you're like, yeah, and you can't like, see him. they wouldn't see him right. if they came flying by and just ran him over. Yeah. Like, everything in this movie told me that's what was going to happen. And so we were rooting for it. I was just like, whoa, uh, because she's in the cabin. Uh, his girlfriend's in the cabin. She opens the door. She's like, Larry, that's the perfect time for her to be like screaming yeah. and be like, right. as the truck's bearing down on him. Yeah. And then he turns. He's like, ah! Mm-hmm. I was actually in my mind like going like, okay, how would you shoot this? You get the car like coming real fast at the guy yeah. who's down on the, and doesn't happen at no, all. Oh, it not, not Instead, even. we get the long take of her running, uh, <laughs> you know, another hundred yard dash yes. across yep. the field. In order where to the, where the camera almost pans all the way around. Yep. And then when she finally gets to Larry and the hug, you know, because you made it back and it's great and I love you and blah, blah, blah. And then they look over into the woods and there's the berserker. The peeping Tom berserker. And he's like, and he's freaking out. And then he's like, what the? He's like looking at the sun yeah. and then he collapses. And yep. we're like, <laughs> is he like he's a injured. vampire? He can't go out in the sun. I don't think he likes it particularly. I don't know what this Fucking, it's, I mean, I guess because I his know. book of knowledge did not tell us anything about them being no. sensitive to sun. So, no. but he is injured ever, apparently. Bear fight. Well, yeah, probably for the bear fight. Yeah, so we're gonna go. That's what it was. It wasn't, I think. But so. there's a shot but of why? him trying to shield his yes. eyes from the sun, yeah. which made me think that you know it's sunlight yeah. allergy or something. But then the sheriff and Mike show up, and then uh, sheriff seeing the berserker is like, oh shit! So he gets his shotgun. Mm-hmm. Right, we are okay. Now it's a, and everybody's like, shoot him. Yes. Right. When we he know gets that. up on the berserker. Just say it 30 times. Sheriff seems very conflicted for a while. And then uh, we had a YouTube ad break and we were like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, right. right? Yeah. It's <laughs> like, like trigger. It's like cock the gun, <laughs> aim it at the berserker. Shoot, shoot him. him. Google would like you to know <laughs> yes. about Eric Sorensen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then we cut back to it and he does indeed shoot him in the heart. Bam. So looking at it. After the end credit scene, we're like, oh, he was like a little bit conflicted. That's why it was taking him so long. And I'm like, hey, you, law enforcement doesn't generally just walk up to the guy on the ground and shoot him. But he is a berserker. He is a berserker. And so he knows this is my crazy brother. Yep. He's gone crazy because it is Pappy Nyquist. We yep. find out at the end. Right. And an almost movie. an almost throwback transformation. Where it's just a fade yeah, over no kidding. from Berserker to George Buckfly. But that's the thing that was so disappointing about it, because I'm sitting there looking at the Berserker when he was fighting the bear, and I'm like, the guy's got gray hair, long gray hair, kind of. And I'm like, who is this guy? And, right. you know, that was a blonde got a wig. ripped chest and all that. And I'm like, okay, so who? And then I'm like, is this going to be like, he's just oh, yeah, he's the a possession Berserker? Form. Yeah. Uh, well, that's what I think the movie is trying to give because then he yeah. turns into George Buck Flower. And you're okay. Like, oh, what? Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Okay. Well, th- again, other options this film could have explored because Josh apparently is still alive in the woods. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. I, I've never seen blanker stairs in my life. <laughs> I had to remember who Josh was first of all <laughs> because yes. he's got he's got memories. Got the little tourniquet on yes, his arm yep, with the yep. stick and the handkerchief yeah. and everything. Yep, and they said we'll we'll come back for you, Josh. Right, yeah. like he he wakes up, so he's awake. But they could have done like the bloodline thing and had him be possessed. He right. yeah. possession right there. Right, he wakes up. Maybe this was somebody's idea, and that's why he's still alive and it's so awkward. Mm-hmm. And he does wake up. Maybe that was part of the ending at some point. But I don't know. Who knows? Well, if you don't know, Sean. I, I mean, got okay. You had, you had uh, all I know is the sheriff is a bear. <laughs> and that's, is that's that what I got. What? Do. The sheriff is a bear. The sheriff is the bear. What in the hell are you talking about? Here we go. Oh, do you, really? Oh, okay, but that would explain why he was looking at his hand. It's like, oh, they both transform yeah. at night. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. That's, that's what I, like I picked up on, too. Yes, this I, this bandwagon. was totally my theory. Oh, absolutely. No, I'm just kidding. This is all Sean's. <laughs> like, fuck both of you. No, I'm no, like, no, no. I'm just like, now that I'm he- No, the sheriff's it, the it bear. Yeah. He transforms. That's why we don't see him for a long time. We see a lot of the bear, because he's patrolling as a bear. But they yeah, are he's the patrolling lineage. the property he cares Holy so much about. Yeah. Fuck. Right. He's looking but, for litterers. Uh, right. So, <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. He's Smokey the Bear and protecting its fires and everything. But yeah, because, I mean, they are family. It's in their blood to be able to do this. So this guy, if there's a bad one, there's got to be a good one. So yeah, we have... It's the two monster problem I have with every monster. I, the one I saw this, I'm like, ooh, does this, <sighs> does this cover the two monster thing? Because one of them's technically good and the good guy, but one's the bad guy. But, and they are two different animals. Yes, so I was 
but how this we don't you. know who's doing it until the end. We don't. So that's the same so kind it of method. Feels like yeah. a two monster thing. Yes. Wow. yes. I'm, but no, the, I'm still kind of rocked back in my. No, I mean, the I guess, there. You know, now that you're saying that, it's like all that stuff does kind of it, like that could be what they intended, but. Yeah. Colin, they're literally playing chess at one point. Yeah, as yeah, uh, yep. uh, as a ba- as a black and white, as mm-hmm. a one yep. side and the other. Yep. But we're saying this is this stuff isn't actually in the movie. And George Buckflower it's, had the black chess pieces, right? Uh, I think so. Yes, it's. Ba- I'm gonna say it is there, um, but it's barely there. But it's barely. There, no yeah. pun intended. Ba- no, pun intended. We're on a roll. With these. Let's keep going. With Barely it. there. Yeah. Jeff Richards, if he's Bear out surfer. there and he's listening to this podcast, he's going to go like, oh, my God. Somebody yeah, finally got it. Us, yeah. Somebody <laughs> finally got it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The whole fa- It's a whole family thing. Those right. kids just got unlucky. If they had just gone to the Miller campsite, they'd be, they'd be fine. Edna and Homer would have been the only ones who died. I don't know if that's true. Uh, see, I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll never that's know. That's the thing with this movie. We can decide whatever we want is true. <laughs> yes. You know? It is up All right, to that's us. Berserker. Wow. All right. Yeah, that, that's Berserker. Okay. Well, I mean, you're glad now that you stayed with us the whole way through this uh, confusing uh, movie because now you understand it uh, in a way you didn't in, before. Right. In the same way we do. Yeah. Which maybe is not understanding, but it's We've close enough. To it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. right. We made the movie better. Jeff, yes. if you're out there, Jeff write with in. One yeah. F. Please uh, write in. Larry Block, don't write in. Fuck yeah. you. Well, we'll tell Jeff how he can write in and the rest of you good people here in a second because uh, we're going to go through our mailbag. But in order to do that, we're going to have to summon Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Thank you. Do you think he can like berserk into something else? What do you think he would berserk into? Maybe he is the berserked form Ooh. of something. Ooh. Lizard man. I don't know. He That's a hard yeah. one. Calibator he might head. berserk into many things. He why is made of multiple people. Why don't we have more like lizard men movies? That'd be spooky, you know. Or you know, men. yeah. Go yeah. go watch um, that. Uh, I remember nothing about it. Um, uh, Gargoyles is a movie called Gargoyles that Stan Winston won an Emmy for. Oh, it's yeah. a TV movie. We've talked about it, it was before. On last really? Night oh yeah, go watch that if you want. You want <laughs> lizard? You want lizard men? Go watch that. Okay, movie. all right, I will. Thanks. There you go. There's a there's a lizard man ass slap in that movie that is unexplainable. <laughs> oh, but you'll I'm so see it. sold. <laughs> but you'll see it and you'll be like, what? Uh, <laughs> you know just what to say to get me to watch a movie. <laughs> so there you go. That's for all of you all out right. there. Learn something new every day. Wow. Okay. Well, Again, he won an Emmy for the effects in that. I know. I Love remember it. that was like a big deal. At the yeah. time still is, I think. For uh, Well, uh, Jeff Richards and uh, all you other good folks out there, mm. you can uh, write in to us by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Or Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. You can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or you can follow along on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. We got a big mailbag tonight Ooh, because I love big mailbags. we had an accelerated episode last week. Dark so now City. we've got all your mail. Yep. So about Berserker, Joey Blythe writes in and says, I'm on my third watch. I haven't uh. made it past 30 minutes yet. Oh, okay. That, that explains a lot more. I was about to have a lot of questions. <laughs> well, he says, uh, it's mostly people talking about the movie that I would like to watch. And then the music got <laughs> drunk and wandered into the wrong movie. <laughs> yes, that's my wrap-up. Yes, that is. <laughs> yep, Concisely it really did. Concisely put, good sir, yeah. It, it does really feel did. like that when you got all that rock music over these nice, yeah. pristine, like, you know, yeah. Utah mountainous locations. And the talking about a movie that I want to see. Yeah, yes. yeah. yeah. I really wish they, they could have should have shoved some more of those rock songs in the middle of all that walking in the middle of the movie. Yeah. Yeah. That is why there's that lull, because we yes. get it at the front, and then it does return at the end. Mm-hmm. You're even talking about the mystical musical... Or mystical, oh, yeah. whatever. The mystical uh, musical fog, like <laughs> the howling wind. <laughs> yeah, that is what the fog sounds it's like. Like in this a movie. spooky sounds like Halloween yeah. CDs. Yeah. Like, yeah, like somebody's got yeah. theremin somewhere. Yeah. we weren't sure if the actors or the characters were actually hearing the spooky fog sound or, or not. Because well, it, it felt maybe? like they couldn't hear because of the noise. Yeah. Right. Of the, fog. Yeah. the fog has some dampening <laughs> abilities. Yeah, yeah. That sight, is sound, not everything. Yeah. yeah, weird. You can't hear the Sally. Yeah, <laughs> Sally from right. People are. 20 feet away from each other, can't hear each other. Right. Uh, Steve Carney writes in and says, I watched Berserker on Tubi and enjoyed it enough that I bought the Blu-ray from Vinegar Syndrome. I'll nice. always remember George Buck Flowers saying, Little Josh Vintner, with that <laughs> unique accent. 
And oh man, an Officer Hill really looks like Dollar Store Hal Holbrook. He, yeah, does. he does. He does. He does. Tell us what's on those bonus features for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah let us know. I'm very yeah. curious. I'm gonna have to look that up. Five I'm commentaries from Jeff <laughs> from Dark City. Yes. Um, speaking of speaking Dark, of Dark City, City, that was the movie that we watched last, last week. week. Yep. Maya Madsen says the '90s movie it it most reminds me of is the City of Lost Children. Which actually we did an episode of yeah, long time, way, a long way, time way back. Seen that, yeah. uh, he says the green, or sorry, Maya says the green color palette, the dark, can- dank canals, the labyrinthine, labyrinth, labyrinthine, labyrinthine, labyrinthine. <laughs> my God! And like I know these words, and then it's, it's just, <laughs> do you? I'm just <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding, I'm just it's real test tonight. And there's even an you're accordion. Not, well, you are not a certified genius. Yeah. <laughs> it's all about the bifocals. That's what I'm getting old. <laughs> Uh, Maya says she did see this in theaters twice, so that makes wow. what, four of us. Maya, I think yeah. it's just you and me. I think, <laughs> I think we saw. It in you theaters. guys were half the ticket sales. Yeah. Uh, Michael Whitaker says yes. Oh, and Holly's not here, but he says Aww. yes. Holly, I remember the head and the Max <laughs> and Sifle and Ollie and Freak Show. Late night MTV comprised a lot of my junior and senior year summers. I'm sure Holly loved everything you just said. Uh, yeah, yeah. You're, it's like you're speaking another language to me. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'll bet Holly yeah. loved it. And we're going to keep it going. Michael right. J. Palmisano says, uh, yeah, MTV's the head. The alien was named Roy. I really like that show. <laughs> I'm telling you, I got to yeah, Google this so I can up. get a visual of what we're talking about. Asobi Datura says, I remember the head. Oh, my God. We're the only, Sean, you and I are the only people who don't remember this, apparently. It's <sighs> a big head. Asobi <laughs> also says, also, the subtitle to the Dark City episode okay, should well. be Existential Crisis in a Wisconsin slash Chicago accent. <laughs> Oh, we're looking at a picture of the head. There you go. Yep. Okay. Uh, that's yes. Yeah. That was a great Jesus. comment, Zoe. I love it. Uh, Neil Gum says Kiefer Sutherland in this equals Keanu in Dracula, but the movie's so uh. good, it doesn't matter. Ouch. Yeah. I didn't think it was that bad. Oh, I know. I didn't think it was that bad. It was grading a bit, but yeah. I think it was supposed to be. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. He's sniveling. Mm-hmm. Uh, Chris Huddleston writes in and says, he Huds, Juds. What the hell Rupture. happened to Alex Proyas? That's the director of Dark mm. City. He says he was one of the most exciting directors of the 90s with The Crow and Dark City. Did iRobot destroy his career? That movie did was kind of a joke and like a, a early meme even, I feel like. You know? I, haven't, I saw that movie once. So yeah. I don't well, it had no personality. Remember. Like mm-hmm. his other movies so it was did. was very robotic. I will say, yeah. <laughs> yes, we're on a roll. Come on, Michaela. Now. Good job, Sean. <laughs> But it, that's weird because Guys of Egypt has a ton of personality, but it's still not a good movie. Yeah, like knowing really had. Like, oh, I forgot made about knowing. Yeah, yeah, anybody could have made knowing. Um, Grant Parrish says Dark City is the movie. He says this movie is one of the best interpretations of you are a dungeon master. Is it, you get the, uh, oh, yeah. I, yeah, 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 got yeah. it. Yes. Yep. Very true. Uh, that is cool. I like thinking of it that way. And B Movie Vault says Dark City is one of the great 90s films, visually stunning and mind bending in all the right ways, probably overshadowed by The Matrix being released the following year. Definitely. But one I consider essential viewing and return to regularly. Mm-hmm. I think we all signed yeah. off yeah. on Dark City. Mm-hmm. Stone Cold Classic. Uh, the week before, we watched a movie called Death Race 2000. Yes. Sure did. Don Selner writes in and says, The real Don Steele, who's the DJ in Death Race 2000, is also the DJ in Rock and Roll High School, which I don't oh. think we've covered on the Saturday Night Free Show. No, we might have to at some point. Interesting. It's been a while since I've seen that. I have not seen that. <laughs> PJ I haven't Souls? seen it either. I know. Everybody's oh, no. seen it by me. No, I've never you seen guys. it. All right. Bill Hainer says, and he was a DJ in Gremlins. <laughs> oh, so he's just the movie DJ guy. Oh, huh? yeah. Okay. That. The real I forgot field. about that. Yep. Uh, Pat that Hatfield sense. says, "Now that you've done this, is anyone going to bring the sh- the sort of sh- <laughs> the sort of sequel, more like a follow up, Death Sport, also with David Carradine?" Oh, oh I'll look well, into it. I I'm, had no yeah. idea. I was like, I'm more interested in that than the Death Race remake. I'll say that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh no, Death Sport. Okay, I'll look yeah. into Death it. Sport. I'll look into it. Uh, Joey Blythe said, "Where's the Total Point T-shirt?" <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that yes. would be good. It that would be really good. good. Well, uh, Joey also edited his comment to uh-huh. say, I pulled the car over to let you know that the black and white movie within a movie was Doom Asylum. Was it? It. Thank you for letting us know. Thank you for letting us know. We have goldfish memories <laughs> when it comes to the things we've watched. 
Because we I could not right. figure that yes. one out. Yeah. Wow, we even... spent a lot of time. People were probably <laughs> punching their steering wheels at us. Like, it's Doom Asylum, you yeah. idiots. You just right. did it five months ago. It like, was, because yeah. I didn't want to go back and watch it. Yes, because you hated Doom <laughs> but Asylum. But I did. You hated Doom Asylum. But see, okay, just again, to prove my dedication, mm -hmm. yeah. that I went he back went and watched Doom Asylum. He went back and timed out how yeah. much of the movie was okay. actually. Thank yeah. you for writing yes. in. Because yeah. we weren't going to figure that out yeah, We would have never gotten there, so thank you. Uh, Simon Carter uh, writes in and says, have any of the Freak Show watched the series Blood Drive? It definitely has some of the influence of Death Race 2000 and a bunch of other Grindhouse sources, and I really enjoyed it. No, that sounds really I've heard cool. Of it. I haven't. A while yeah. ago I've heard of it, uh, but I yeah. didn't look into it besides hearing the name. I'll look into it now. Yeah, I'm curious. So, sounds interesting. So Death... Wait, what? Blood Drive. Blood Drive and Death Sport. Yep. Okay. Got to add those to the list. Of to look Discord. into. Uh, Dom Cree says, "Did Roger Corman do another one? I recall it being recent and pretty out there, but enjoyable nonetheless." Yeah, we said on our episode that was Roger Corman's Death Race 2050. 2050. Yes. Yep. Uh, With Malcolm which McDowell. We haven't seen, but yep. I'm not uh, watching. Travis Legler because Sylvester Stallone was in Death Race 2000. Yes, he was. And Travis Legler says, "Oh, Sly, you were over the top even in the 70s." Yep. It's a pun. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Yeah. Good uh, job. Scraw793 says, wah, wah. I was actually surprised by how much I enjoyed this movie. Of course, the bourbon helped. Yeah, it bourbon usually does. Helps. Yeah. Yes. It can't make it worse sometimes, but. Car not, not the full naked massages and everything. Yeah. We're still talking about Death Race, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, Car Combat Central writes in to say, <laughs> Car versus pedestrian automo automotive racing video game series Carmageddon was inspired by the 1975 movie Death Race 2000. Nice. Uh, I want to play that. <laughs> also, That's how the, I play Grand Theft Auto, basically. <laughs> yeah. The out of print 2010 tabletop game Roadkill Rally was also inspired by. Oh, <laughs> there you go. I like the game. the T-shirt should just be pictures of like a baby and yeah. then an and old the lady points. and everything, and then, yep. and then just equals and then yeah. a point there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right, I love it. Um, and then Stallone on there somewhere. Yeah. Oh no, I completely moved two comments around the shit of Dark City. We're just oh, going back to okay. Dark City. Oh my God. Okay. Uh G Money writes in about Dark City what and up, says uh Dark City has some great sets that really flesh out the world almost like another character. Rufus Sewell was a treat to watch, cockeye and all. Oh, and Jennifer <laughs> Connolly, nineties oh, and Jennifer Connolly. Uh nineties yeah. yeah. hardcore sci fi was peak cinema for me with films like Dark City, Event Horizon, Pitch Black, Cube, Gattaca, Alien Resurrection. You get the futuristic settings and technology mixed with relatable or firm familiar personalities and usually a handful of gore, if not more. Starship Troopers, he says. Mm, mm. Yes. I'm gonna go back and watch Alien Resurrection. I haven't watched that in a while. Mm. <laughs> And MF Mad, the keeper of the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame, wants to let us know. I can't even remember if we did this on the show, but yes, Kiefer Sutherland has been added to uh, the Saturday awesome. Night Freak Show did we do Wall of Fame. Show? I don't remember. I can't remember. I don't think we did. I don't think so. Because uh, he was in The Lost Boys, Flatliners, and Dark City, uh, all of which we have covered on our program. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Well, thank you again. Right. Thank you for writing you for in. Writing in. We appreciate it. And you, listener, for sticking through that, uh, that catch up mailbag. Yes. Um, it'll it'll make this episode almost as long as the movie. I know, yeah. we're, right? We're, this yeah. is our Google ad. Yeah, yeah, we're coming we're coming close to it. So now we're gonna go around the table and tell you what we thought of tonight's movie, starting with Colin. Nope. <laughs> no. No. Don't watch Berserk. No, okay. <laughs> I thought you were saying like, no, I'm not going first. I, I thought you were saying no, I'm not going first. I, like, I was like, oh. uh, after I said it, I was yeah. like, yep, this is gonna be ready. Uh, no. Um. Yeah. Amateur hour at the mm -hmm. movies. Worth it for a berserker versus bear fight and uh, the audience applause from Larry mm. out in the earth uh, cheering on. Yeah. Um, beyond that, I got nothing uh, that I because it is just interminable. It's uh, probably like me talking. It's, uh, you know, it's a bunch of people walking. They walk to the right. In this fog, then you cut to a moon, bear then you cut walks to a bear, to the left, yep. bear walking around and you cut back and every once in a while. They're like, we're lost. <laughs> I have no uh, idea. Kills are off are. screen. I don't understand. What, I mean, maybe uh, Jeff is a genius because uh, Sean, <laughs> the certified genius over here that we have on Saturday Night Free Show, was able to figure out uh, the movie's main thesis. The I think Sean watches movies. I think Sean watches movies on a different plane than us. Like, like, like a different plane of existence. <laughs> that is yeah. A compliment. I will take it as. Yeah. 
I cannot uh, suggest that anyone <laughs> out there would actually get any kind of enjoyment out of this, unfortunately, except uh, for the fellow who uh, bought the Blu-ray. Yeah. So they're you know, yeah. seeing something that uh, that I didn't, unfortunately. But uh, it was no Night Beast. Sean, what did you think of tonight's movie? Uh, it's a tough one, because I had a good time watching this tonight with you guys. And it was, I mean, it was, it was humorous in its badness. But, I mean, yeah. If you get a bunch of people together and watch together, I mean, like that is the caveat we come to a lot with these movies, yeah. which mm-hmm. to get a group together and rip on it. Movie. But it, it really is. It is a movie to rip on. And I don't know if you can have that because, again, it's not what you think it's going to be like. There's a lot of bear and not a lot of berserker in this movie. Um, just for just for certain moments, how bad the acting can be. I mean, there are sexual flashbacks in this movie, but uh, I'm, gl- I'm glad we had the Google ads to break this up, kind of. <laughs> like, it may have really helped the movie. Like, yeah, I don't know anymore. Entertainment in the it did. Movie. Like, we had a fun time here tonight. Um, I can't guarantee that's going to cross over if you watch this on your own by yourself. So I'm going to say you don't have to watch it, but I am going to say I am going to go look at that Blu-ray to see what the extras oh, man. are. Right. Right. So yeah, that's Sean's going to deep dive. Yeah. So into that's the where I come down on it. You don't necessarily I don't think you have to watch it, but you could. I'm going to do a little more research, but okay. nah. But does Joey need to, to finish his third third I, viewing of the. I think you sh- <sighs> does he? I mean, but he's stuck. <laughs> but he. The, the, or, uh, they stopped before they even got to the long walking period. So yeah. I don't think, I don't know, because if you couldn't get to that point, there's only walking coming yeah, up. Yeah. So no, I, I guess, but I, no, I can't imagine that you will like continuing on this journey. So I'll say, no, don't keep going. If you're on your third try. So yeah, we're going to say, skip it again. That's a tough one, but yeah, ultimately Michaela, I like to imagine an alternate reality where, these are our Friday the Thirteenth movies. Instead of Jason, it's it's a berserker. Like it's a berserker at like a campground that every year new people go and this berserker kills. How great would that be? Like, <laughs> like as long as like that level of budget as as, and craft, you know. Like, as long as we okay, good. Because as long as we had like a good berserker, no, I'm behind this. I'm saying, uh, imagine Friday the Thirteenth, okay. but it is. It, all, that, everything's that, the same, that, that but it's a berserker okay, gotcha. instead of Jason. I mean, is what I'm saying. Like that's, I think. I mean, clearly that's what this movie wanted to be, is, right? Is you know, more sound. Yes. But like, but like, I w- I want the parallel universe where we're all wearing berserker helmets for Halloween <laughs> on fr- uh, and on Friday the Thirteenth instead of like hockey masks. That's the that's the reality I would love to live in, but. That's, I can see why Michaela, it didn't take off. You can yeah. live in that reality. I'll tell you this now. Just be a berserker. Yeah. <laughs> Dress how you want. Uh-huh. But, uh, but we're never going to get there with movies like this. It, it's a hard <laughs> pass. It's it's I We had fun watching it. I laughed a lot. But it's still a lot of walking in between those laughs, man. They weren't yep. nonstop laughs. There were lots of <laughs> periods of walks in between where we said, yeah, Colin, go to the bathroom. You won't miss anything. Right. We told Colin yeah. to leave. And and just like, hey, you'll be fine. Yeah. Because it had been 20 minutes of walking. So we thought it was more of the same. But um, it's just, it's not what you want it to be. It's not what you think it is. Even the bear doesn't do any cool stuff, really. So... Nah. It, you gotta pass no one's really making an effort here so don't make the effort to watch it especially because you have to go out of your way and go on youtube like it's not even easy to come by so yeah. don't, it's not worth it unless you, you s- like fog yeah did you see the uh the poster art for this movie it's yeah isn't it a tent? pretty cool it looks like pink floyd the wall <laughs> it does, yeah, it does. Yeah. okay yeah the font is that. like it yeah. yeah it does it's like oh berserker and then you're like oh, the, oh mm-hmm. berserker it's like a, okay so that's yep. uh three of us are yep. saying uh no yep. i can no imagine how i would say no. she would not like yeah. this i don't think yeah no all right well uh <laughs> next week we're gonna watch a movie that's chosen by colin what so are we you, gonna watch you know what you know what time of year it is Spooky time. Is That's it, right. It spooky time. Oh, are you doing the first spooky time movie? Yeah. yeah. It's October. Yeah. yeah. So um, I know I swear I'd never do this, but. Uh, <gasps> he's, doing it. He's, he's doing it. He's, he's doing, doing it. it. He's gotta, doing it. He's doing it. I got to write a cinematic shirt. wrong. Oh, that's right. I am. <laughs> he's, yeah. he's wearing the shirt. Because <laughs> none of these guys have seen. Okay. Yeah. So going to be a rewatch. It. What? You we said had... you've never seen it. No, I've never said that. We've had this discussion. Okay. We've talked about the movie. Okay. Okay. 
Well, he's seen it then. I've never <laughs> seen it. Pick okay. I am eager to go back. And Holly's never seen it. All yeah. right, so we're going to watch the spooky sea. And there's a lot of portents and omens like out there on the internet. Oh, yeah. so they say that there's now is the time. There's merch for it for The album has right been now. re-released. Yeah, I was going to say, were you getting hints from the universe? Yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah. what? There's t-shirts coming out and all this. Yeah. And they're like, see? what's happening? And I'm like, the Blu-ray's got to be right around the corner. It's going to be this legal. This is what the pulse is, Colin. This is having your And then it doesn't happen. So we're going to do it. Saturday Night Freak Show. Revisit. Trick or treat. All right. Greatest heavy metal horror movie it. ever made. Okay. Uh, are there are there three other movies called Trick or Treat? Because if we just do Trick or Treats this entire month, the whole month, I'll do, Trick I'll or do, Treat month. Yeah, I'll do. There the, are three more. Yes. Okay. Oh, no, there's there's, there's two more. There's Trick or Treat, and then yeah. there's a Trick or Treats. Right. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So this is 1986. Oh, and then we could yes, and then we could do the movie Trick, which is another Halloween well, killer movie. We do candy and corn. Is, and is there a movie yeah. called Treat? Yeah. Then we, yeah. Uh, the possibilities are endless. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, happy Halloween. Then yes. uh, October is here. So until then, ladies and germs, uh, we hope you'll join us next week. Until mm-hmm. then, yeah. the basement is going dark. <laughs>